everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first update for my um, Beauty A to Z project pan. This is a Fantastic Ladies collaboration. Um, so I will have links below. Amanda and Jessica, I think, who created this. Uh, if not, I will have whoever created it in the description as long as, as long as, as well as the master list, which has everyone that's taken part in this project. Um, if you do want to join in this project, it is not too late. This is a fantastic ladies collaboration, but feel free to just join in. It is um, a year-long project pan where you pick 26 items, so you have one for each letter of the alphabet. Um, and yeah, just kind of whatever goal you like. All of these I want to finish. Um, I've gone for a lot of kind of older products in my collection. And yes, I, I've had quite a good month. I've made some really good progress. I've actually finished two products already which is so exciting and I have a third that's like really close to being done so I'm very very excited and I feel a little bit better I feel I think in the introduction last month I said that I was nervous that I wasn't gonna finish all of the eyeshadows I had a lot of eyeshadows but I'm feeling a bit better about it so my two empties uh, for the letter E I had the MUA eyebrow pencil in brunette I was so shocked to finish this this month um it kind of yeah, the pencil kind of fell out, it's down to the wax. Um, this was such a soft pencil that I was having to sharpen it kind of every, for about five uh, five applications, and I was using this sort of every day this month. So it, it went through really quickly. I, I didn't expect this to be done. Like I said, I thought this was gonna kind of last me into February. Um, but yeah, I did like this. I probably would get this again. I think for the price, I can't really moan that you get through it quite quickly. And then for N, I finished off the Primark Nail Polish. Uh, this is from a nude trio. It's like a movie nude. This was pretty. Um, I'm probably not going to miss this like particular polish, and I could pretty easily find this sort of colour. Um, it was down to about here last time, so I had probably about a third left. Um, but this was just getting so thick that it went really quickly. I think I used this about twice this month and got through it two or three times. It was just so thick, um, which is really annoying because I. I only started using this, like opened and started to use this, um, maybe like September time, like towards the end of last, you know, the second half of last year, and it got really gloopy quite quickly, so that's disappointing. Um, and then onto the products with progress. For the letter A, I had the Revlon Super Lustrous Matte Lipstick in Nude Attitude. Um, I've kind of flattened this out a bit which I like to do with lipsticks that I'm panning because I just find it's easier to track the progress um this thing is nude like I'm questioning how I used to wear this because I used to wear this just like on its own like I'm I question past lips honestly I do because I will wear this sometimes on its own I'll do like a darker lip liner to overdo my lips blend it in a bit and then have this and I'm like it's so so nude but I think also my issue with this is not the fact that it's just so nude but also it's a little bit like patchy almost like it just doesn't go on as nicely as I know it's because it used to it's definitely going bad um but I've made some good progress I was at the black line and now I'm at the purple line so I'm, I'm proud it's chugging away <laughs> uh, so hopefully the lighting isn't too bad I apologise if it's got really bad but the you know, it's about four o'clock now, so it's starting to lose the light. Um, but I had to stop filming earlier because people came home. <sighs> um, so yeah, um, I was quite glad I was able, to, you know, I'm able to kind of finish this today. So hopefully you don't mind the poor light quality. Uh, so for B, um, I've got the Soap and Glory Smolder Coal in blew my mind this is just a navy blue pencil liner super creamy i love these liners the black one is the best thing for waterline um but i do find that like the navy one i've had the brown before i've also got a blue like a teal one they don't really shopping your waterline i don't know what it is but the black is the best thing for your waterline i love it but i do enjoy this um like i said really nice my blue lash line really creamy um yeah enjoying that um, and I've been alternating for using this and my Rimmel Scandalized in Brown that I pulled in my full collection project pan. I've been using one until it's blunt and then using the other until it's blunt and then sharpening both. So 
um, I was up here last time and now I'm down to here so that is some good progress um, for D not for D for C I missed a letter for C I've got the Ciate uh, Paint Pot Nail Polish in Pocket Money this is I'm not going to my nails right now although this one peeled off I painted them yesterday and it peeled off within hours which is really annoying so I will, will repaint that at some point today um, this is like a nice terracotta nude I love this colour um, and I've made like a little bit of progress there if you can see obviously it's quite a wide bottle um, but I I don't know I might focus in on this one next month to try and get this finished um, just because this is quite old in my collection I might really focus on this one for D I got the sleek eye divine palette in storm this thing is so old in my collection um, this I got kind of I want to say like 10 years ago, it could have been earlier than that, 10 or 11 years ago I've had this, like that's, that's so disgusting, but it doesn't, you know, cause me any reaction, so it's fine. Um, so I'm working on finishing up these three shades here, the pink shade is all gone, um, but you'll actually see that I've made a Franken blush that that's in, um, this golden shade I have expanded the pan on a bit, and I've hit some really nice pan in this burgundy. This is kind of what I'm focusing on getting done. I might do that, focus on that for February. Um, and the bronzy shade, I flattened it out a bit. I actually mixed like Franken some of this with this shade, and it's beautiful. So I'm probably going to do that again at some point. And then the matte brown here that I'm also trying to finish, um, there's just, like a little bit left in there. So that's going well. Um, for E, that was the eyebrow pencil, which I've obviously finished. For F, I've got the Dirty Little Secret Eyeshadow Crayon in the shade Fetch. This is um, a rose gold eyeshadow crayon. It is pretty. Um, I've been really enjoying this for a base if I'm doing like anything that isn't burgundy <laughs> or like purple. I'll use the other cream shadow in this, but this is what I've been using for more kind of neutral looks, anything sort of brown or golden based. Um, and it is, it is nice. Um, and it's also very creamy so it's going down quite nicely I was at this line last time and now I'm at the obviously the lower line um yeah for G I've got the beauty glazed matte liquid lipstick in candy K this is like a mauvey pinky colour it's really pretty um I don't know they don't really settle I imagine if you did keep, keep this that up it would settle but it's always in my bag I've been wearing this quite a lot. I've because I have sort of three different lip looks in this project. I've been trying to do what each one for like twice a week. But I love this. This is probably even more than the most. It's really pretty. Um and I did use up one of these in my six by Santa and I was using it like most days. I think and I got through it in about three months, so we'll see how long this lasts. It is one I'm happy to wear kind of most of the year, so it's not an issue for me. I really enjoy it. Um, yeah. Really like that. H. <laughs> for H I have got the L'Oreal Colour Infallible in Hourglass Beige um, I used this on my inner corner and obviously if I only used this on my inner corner it would never run out it just fell out so I've been also frankening this with the next one I'm going to show you um, but it's just like you know a shimmery highlight shade these are I do like these shadows they're just a little bit like messy and I enjoy them, I'm just sort of ready to get that in my collection. And then for I, I've got the L'Oreal Colour Infallible in Tender Caramel. Um, which, yeah, pan is getting bigger than that. Just, yeah, frankening it is kind of the best way. Um, these do go quite quickly if you, you know, if you use them with your finger, they, that is the best way if you don't want to lose product. Um, because obviously you're able to kind of keep pressing it in as you're getting it out because they are just pressed pigments or not pressed pigments, they're like compacted pigments so if you use a brush it kind of does kick back a lot of product and even if you repress them they're still quite powdery which you know that's good for panning <laughs> um, and both of these I've got like cheap so it's fine for J I have got my MAC eyeshadow in Jess I love this um, I'm definitely going to have to repurchase this it's a really nice little easy lid well I thought I'd repurchase this Oh god, when you swatch it, it's just so pretty. It's like a pinky champagne. Really nice for the lid. Um, 
yeah, I do, I do love this shade. I've used this a couple of times this month. I have used everything this month. For K, we've got the Manakada Bronzer or 3 in 1 Brow Eye and Cheek Colour in Trifecta, which. Oh. It's a little bit crumbly, so it's really hard to see. So it does. Um, yeah, this is probably going to like not show too much progress that quickly because I'm going to be just bracketing that with other things or using it on its own. Um, I might get out a little pot to save all the broken bits in though, so once, you know, I kind of finish the bulk of the powder up, I can just repress all the little bits. But yeah, I imagine this is going to be in for a long time. For so L, I've got the NCLA Nail Polish in like Totally Valley Girl. This is just a really fun pink colour. Um, and that's my progress. Again, not a huge amount, but again, it's sort of a wider bottle. And I'm focusing on that Moby shade. I've been alternating between three, so they've probably only got used about twice each. So that's not too bad. For M, I've got the Maybelline Colour Tattoo in Metallic Pomegranate. This is... These things take ages, so I'm trying not to get too excited about how flat this is getting, like how thin this is getting around the edges, because these do take ages. This is probably going to still last me a long time. Um, but I am enjoying this when I'm using that burgundy shade, or if I'm doing kind of more of a purple look. Um, the weekends when I'm not too strict about using my project pan stuff. But yeah, be in for a while. For O, I've got the OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. This, I thought I'd have more progress on than I do because it's, I use this every time I paint my nails. Um, this, I'm definitely going to focus on to get done next month. But I've really not made that much progress. Like, they're my lines. But this is getting really thick. So I feel like it's probably not going to be usable after next month anyway. So, um, I want to finish both of these I'm going to focus on for next month. For P, I've got the e.l.f. Studio Blusher in Pink Passion. This is like just a bright Barbie pink. I love it. Um, and I have made progress on this because this is what I frankened with some of my um, Poundland blusher and also that eyeshadow. So I frankened it. Um, yeah, so progress is going to be quite slow on this, I imagine, because it's super pigmented, but I love it. For Q, I've got the Smith & Colt Lip Lacquer in Fade the Sun. The, the Q is obviously in lacquer. I don't know why this is a lip lacquer, because I thought a lip lacquer was like a liquid lipstick. Or like a really pigmented gloss this is just like a basic lip gloss it's pretty it's what I have on now I'm just gonna put a little bit more on um but yeah I don't know why it's called a lip lacquer I might leave this out sitting so I can see where it is but um yeah I do like this it just doesn't really show any progress I've been using it a few times though for R I've got my Primark lip liner in a rosewood mauve. Um, it's a really nice mauve lip liner. I love it, and it's been going down quite nicely. Um, with yeah, you know, there my lines. Um, and then yeah, it's just it's nice. It's creamy. It's good. I love it. I'll be sad when it's gone. For S, I've got the sleek um, subsolar highlighter from the Solstice palette, which is this one. Here, there's just like a strip down kind of each side. There's not a huge amount left in here. Um, but I did franken some into this little compact here with more of a pink highlight. Um, but I imagine I could have this done by like this March update, end of March, which would be exciting. Mm -hmm. T is my Primark Lip Planet and Thrill Seeker. Now, this thing. It's going to look real janky um, because it doesn't sharpen nicely at all. This came with a liquid lipstick, um, but the packaging of this is just ridiculous. It's plastic, but like, it's not, yeah, it's like a plastic pencil, so it doesn't sharpen, but it's not, I'm not an idiot, this doesn't, I thought it twisted. It doesn't. I just twisted the base off of it. 
Um, yeah, I'm not an idiot. Like, this doesn't twist. It's not mechanical. It's a sharpening pencil, but I don't know if you can see, like, there, where a chunk's missing, because the only way I can sharpen this is to put this into, like, the big side of the sharpener and hack a chunk out of it to then get something for it, the little side to grip on. It's a nightmare. I'm so looking forward to when this is done. It's also like nothing special of a shade. It's like such like a basic nude that I don't need in my life. I just, I don't like this product. <laughs> and I'm sort of getting to the point where I just want to like stop using it and put something else in its place. So I'm probably going to think about that over the next month and like, yeah. Um, but I did make a lot of progress with my method of having to hack away a lot of product at a time. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to see kind of how much progress I've made for next month, like how long it looks to have left to work on it, and then decide if I want to move it out. Um, oh, I didn't remark this. Silly me. Um, but for you, I've got the MUA Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder in Banana Bake. Um, it was here last time, and now we're down to about here. I'll need to mark this. This is just a super yellow <laughs> loose powder. It's way too yellow for me to use on its own, so I mix it with the Revolution Lace Powder. And then it's really nice. I am enjoying it that way, because it's not a bad powder, it's just too yellow. Um, for V, I've got my Anspa Fruit Extracts Smell of Sweet... Uh, uh, I can't read. Anspa Fruit Extracts Smooth Sweet Pods of Vanilla Fragrance Body Mist. Um, I mean, I keep marking this like wrong, so I've marked this here, and it is literally at the top of this line. So I've made like a nice, healthy amount of progress. I've been using this pretty much every day and I like douse myself in it because obviously the body spray it doesn't last very long. And it's it's vanilla -y and it's not this isn't a scent I'm gonna use probably come like April to like September I won't be using this. Um so for like half a year I'm not gonna be using this. So I wanna make as much progress as I can before it gets too springy, which I feel like is never going to happen. I, you know, it gets to this point in January and it feels like it's going to be winter forever. But yeah, I'm not a fan of this vanilla scent. There's something about it that I don't like. So I can't wait. You know, I'm very keen to move this out. For W, I have the W7 Double Prime Lips and Brows Duo Primer. This is like possibly the most unnecessary product. Definitely the most unnecessary product in this project. This is a waxy. I don't want to do it all the way up because it is broken. Like it's this it's pink but it goes on clear. Like waxy product. <laughs> that I'm kinda wishing I'd have used for my brows, but I don't even know how this would work for my brows. And you put it on, I put it on my lips, and it kind of like pills up. It's really weird because it's not like a balm, it's like a wax that sort of pills up on your lips. I don't want to now try it in my brows and then not like it and then have to go back to use it on my lips after it's been in my brows because that's a weird combination. Like, why would you have the same product for your lips and your eyebrows? That's just a bit weird. But yeah, I just I put my face primer on and while that's sort of setting in, I just put this on my lips. And I don't notice this helps my makeup in any way. <laughs> it doesn't hinder my lips, but I don't feel like it benefits them at all. Like, it's just... I hate that I bought this. Um, it was when I was at uni and I used to go to Poundland and like treat myself to things because I was so poor. Um, I'd go to Poundland and look at like the makeup and they'd have little bags so you've got two W7 products. And yeah. I feel like I had two of those bags. I don't remember what one of them had in it. It had like a silicone sponge and something else. Which I know I didn't keep either of those. I don't really know, but yeah, it's one of those products I'm like, why? Why did you buy? Uh, but the progress, pretty good. Shouldn't have to like stare at this thing too long. Maybe again by March, that should be done. For X, I have my Carmex Strawberry Lip Balm. I've been really enjoying this. 
Well, I've been using this. <laughs> I love, and you all know, I love Comics that Comes in the Pot. My fave. Fave look on. Comics Comes in Squeeze Tube is not the same. I don't care what people say, it is not the same. It's really glossy, um, which if you like that, then great. But Comics has like a hideous taste. That they're, they're, you can't ignore that comics has like this hideous like mentholated taste and when it's like this glossy it's going to get in your mouth like I with the potted one can kind of avoid it getting in my mouth um but this I cannot like this just mm. also it's strawberry scented but it's like strawberry mixed with like mentholatedness and it's just it's not a great combination I only bought this because I had an SPF 15, so I bought this for when I went to Turkey in the summer. Um, but yeah, definitely quite keen to get used to use it up. Use it up. I'm down to about here, so we could have this done by the next update, if not March. And I'll be very, very happy <laughs> because it's not my fave. I also am not a big fan of panning comics. I will only pan it once I've hit pan. And I've just got like a little ring left because it's not a lip balm I want to be using every single day. I don't want my lips to get used to it. But like, this ain't the same. I'm not a fan. For why I have the NYX um, Nude Matte Shadow in Birthday Suit. This, I got a fragrance direct as, ooh, a shadow to set my eyeshadow primer. Um, but it's just a little bit too pinky for that. Like, it, it works. It's just pinkier than I'd have liked. Um, but as you can see, there is a big ring of pan. I don't think there was pan when I walked this in, but there was a massive dip. I do work on my shadows pretty... I try to not dig for pan. I like to kind of work on them quite consistently. So it takes... It, you know, might take me longer to hit pan, but once I've hit pan, the product goes quicker. Um, that's how I prefer to do it. But yeah, hoping to have this done for next month, just so I can have a little single shadow out of my collection. I don't mind having this sort of shade in a single because it's practical if you're using a palette that doesn't have it to then have it as a single. But it's also a bit like annoying to have to have the single like in my makeup bag all the time. I don't know. And then finally for Z I've got the uh, Zoella Body Mist in the Snowella scent. I got this was it the beginning of last year? No beginning of 2018 I got these they should have set of four minis for Christmas and I got like them after Christmas and I think I cut that clip out of the haul that I said I was like drugged up on not drugged up dosed up forget that I'm a business professional now and can't say things like that but I'd, I had a cold so I was ill and oh my phone um yeah I was ill and I was like wanting to cheer myself up so I bought these and I was like I must have been like not feeling right because none of them smelled good. Um, I thought I liked this one. I don't. And I don't think the smell has changed. I think I've just realised that I was kidding myself and was trying to make one of them smell good. Um, the Blissful Mist was like okay but it still smelled like something that just should, should have stayed as like a bath product. And again like this isn't horrible but I don't feel like it should be a body spray it's weird to describe but there is so little left in here just gotta put some on now it won't die there is so little left in here that it should have run out by now um although I can't imagine I got through this whole thing this month I don't really know because like the other when I tried to pan the other two last year they took ages um but this I want, this is going to be done by the next update, if not the end of the month. I would not be surprised. So, that is my update. They are my 24 products that I'm now working on. Um, which is good that I finished up two this month because I worked out, this is how I like to do my project planning. I like numbers. Um, I need to be finishing like two or three products a month to use them all up by the finale. I know that's not really how it has to work. Like, I could not finish any and then have, like, less than a month left to come December 1st and get them all done anyway. But 
you know, in my brain, I'm like, if I finish two or three months, I'm sure I'll do it. So yeah, four products that I want done for next time. Um, my Also, my goal for this palette is I want the burgundy shade done and this dark brown done. Um, but I don't think I have any other goals as such. Just those. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, and if you want to take part, like I said, it's not too late. Um, and yeah, give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more from me and you like project planning videos. And I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.